Feds say he is the kingpin of a kickback scheme that cost the Detroit public schools millions of dollars. Well, now his charm life is about to change drastically. A guilty plea appears to have him headed to federal prison. Now, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell was in court. And Kim, what did he have to say for himself? Norman Shai had plenty to say for himself as he was in federal court where our cameras are not allowed. He told the judge, I am guilty of committing bribery and federal tax evasion. But as he left the courthouse and our cameras were waiting, he had very little to say. Norman, what would you like to say to the kids of Detroit Public Schools? Norman Shai walked in silence to a car waiting outside federal court in Detroit. But inside court, he decided silence was not an option. He named names, telling a judge he paid off numerous Detroit Public Schools principals to approve invoices for school supplies. His company, Allstate Sales, never delivered. Federal investigators have named 12 principals and an administrator they say worked with Shai. It is a scheme federal investigators say cost the already financially struggling district that kids relied on almost $2.7 million. That just happens to also be the value of this mansion where Norman Shai and his wife live in Franklin. Any comment at all, sir? If a judge accepts the 74-year-old's plea deal, he will go to prison for at least five years and 10 months, at most seven years and three months. He will also have to pay almost $2.7 million in restitution to Detroit Public Schools plus fines. Facing prison time and millions of dollars in restitution, you might ask, why did he accept this deal? Well, one thing that was said in court is it does guarantee he won't face any additional charges in connection to this investigation. He is scheduled for sentencing in the beginning of September, along with others who are accused of being a part of this, is as long as the judge accepts his deal. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you for that live report.